In this lesson, we're going to dive into how you can report on Fin AI Copilot and your team's usage of it. In the corner, you'll find a link to the dedicated report. The overall report itself can be filtered by date and by teammate to show exactly what you want. Before we get into the meat of the report, I want to highlight this symbol which appears when you hover over any of these metrics. By clicking here, you can see the exact conversations where Finn was used. If you open one, you'll see the question, the answer Finn gave, with a list of all the sources related to the answer. Plus, there's a direct link to the conversation in the inbox in case you want to jump in and take any action. Now, one of the best things about this view is that it's easy to identify what questions Finn AI Copilot can't answer. To do this, just click here, select the answer attribute, and set it as blank. This will give you a list of all the questions that Finn AI Copilot couldn't answer. Great for helping you understand what content you might need to add or update in order to improve its coverage. And you can export these results as a CSV for further analysis if needed. Okay, now that we've shown you how to drill into the conversations behind this report, let's zoom out and look at the entire report and explain it piece by piece. So let's pretend that in the past month, I've had 15,000 conversations. We can see here that Finn AI Copilot was used in 33% of our conversations. That means that there are around 5,000 conversations where it was used. And within these 5,000 conversations then, we can see that around 10,000 questions were asked. So on average, our team were asking Finn AI Copilot about two questions per conversation giving us some insight into how our team are using it on a conversation by conversation basis. One last thing regarding this rate, you can track it over time using this graph, making it easy to spot trends within your team. Speaking of your team, there are a few metrics on this report dedicated to them, so let's take a look. So you can see the raw number of how many teammates are using Finn AI Copilot here and then use this graph to see how that trends over time. Plus, you've got the teammate overview report at the bottom. This breaks down how each teammate is interacting with Finn. A useful trick here is to sort this view to see who uses Finn the most and the least, which makes it easy to follow up with the right reps to see what is and isn't working. Let's look at this teammate to explain the figures. So, Troy has used Finn in about 70% of his conversations. This means he has used it in 175 conversations as shown here. And throughout these conversations, he has asked more than 400 questions, averaging out about five questions per conversation. This consistency across all his interactions clearly indicates regular use. So that's all you really need to know about the teammate overview. Before we finish up, I want to share a graph of the average usage rates we saw during the beta. Now, this graph just shows data for companies who deal with over 1,000 conversations a week. And most companies on the beta fell in the 20 to 30% range. You can see that Intercom's usage rate is around 33%, and that's actually up by 7% since last month. And we also did have some high achievers who got up as high as 50% usage. Now, obviously the usage rate depends on a lot of factors, your company size, the industry, the types of questions that you deal with, but it's good to have an idea of where you fall on this graph so you can measure yourself and your team against it. And that pretty much covers all you need to know about reporting on Finn AI Copilot.